situated on a sprawling 15 acre of land will take you to the forgotten villages of Karnataka. The lush greenery of the place and its calm will give you the feel of a village. Conceptualized by late H.L. Nagi Gora, Janapada Loka is situated on the Bangalore-Mysore Highway Road, 53 kilometers from the city of Bangalore. Considering the type of crowd that they attract, Janapada Parishad has decided to renovate three museums inside the premises of Janapada Loka. The three museums are Lok Mata Mandir, Lok Mahal and Chitra Kutira. Apart from the museums, the Parishad also expects to open a world-class museum. Indra Bala Krishna, managing trustee of the Parishad and daughter of late Nagegora, spoke more about the plans of the renovation to the real estate team. We thought, you know, we have to grow according to the times. We have to cater to the national and international levels. Though we have a rich collection of folk artifacts, you know, we thought, you know, how it is displayed to the national and international standard is very important if we have to grow to that level. So with this intention, uh, we have taken up, we have already renovated one museum where the display system is uh, changed and the art artifacts are on a rotation basis. That is, in a year, you keep see seeing three sets of articles. One set is displayed for three months and another three months, another set will be displayed so that there is a rotation and there is no monotony. It doesn't like, you know, people who come again and again, they'll say, okay, there is a, diff you know, there is a change. It is not like, oh, I'd seen this six months back. It's the same thing. What is there to see? So that is the main intention of renovating and one of the museums we have renovated. Janapada Loka boasts of three major museums, Lok Mata Mandir, Lok Mahal and Chitra Kutira. These three circular buildings house artifacts showcasing the lifestyle of the agricultural class. The Lok Mata Mandir has been subjected to modernity. Bangalore-based Jackfruit Research and Design Private Limited has transformed the place into a national level museum. The other two museums will soon see renovation work begin on them. Those were built in uh, almost about uh, 10 years back. Under those circumstances, the, under limited resources, you know, we, we had done, I mean, the founder had done his best. And a lot of items were, you know, clustered together and it needed to be, you know, displayed in a better way. So we thought, you know, what the work he has done. So we actually, we are planning to build one more museum. The uh, Karnataka government has given us a grant of one crore. Uh, Department of Canada and Culture. They have given us a grant of one crore. So with that, uh, we are planning to build a national state of the art museum, which will help us to, you know, house all our uh, artifacts and display them in a, in a very good way. The museums look brand new. Modern lighting system and the manner of display gives one a feeling of being inside a brand new showroom. Apart from these, the 15 acre of land also has a sculpture court, a heritage village, an open-air theatre and provision for videoscope. Lok Mahal is made colourful with life-size puppets and dolls. Nagigara's memoirs and other objects have been displayed at the Chitra Kutira. This museum basically houses paintings and pictures of the tribes and the villagers. The specimens of the artefacts are collected from all parts of the state of Karnataka. Kitchen implements, agricultural and animal husbandry equipment and other household items used by the rural folks are displayed systematically and categorized separately alongside. According to Indra Balakrishna, the renovation is going to assist the Parishad in displaying more artifacts and help in fulfilling the dream of Nagegora. The funds, although, are playing a spoiled sport for the Parishad members. We have applied for a grant to the central government, Department of uh, Culture, because they have this scheme of uh, granting money for the restoration and renovation of museum and we are very hopeful that this year uh, they, have, they are going to give us some grant at least what we have asked for if that is given we want to take up the other museums also and renovate that you know money is very important because i was being a non-profit organization we don't run on profit you know, we have a lot of our own uh, co I mean, commitments, means we have 30 people working in the organization, paying their salary, maintenance, it's been difficult, but even the government has, you know, helped us in our uh, time and we have that uh, confidence that in future also, the government will be favorable to our needs. Janapada Loka is a prized possession for the state. It is a one-stop destination for those who are interested in folk culture. With government taking interest in preserving such folk cultural centres, tourists from across the globe will get a chance to reflect on the spectacular heritage of the state. At Janapadaloka with camera person Tarak Ram, Dev Parnacharya for Real Estate Television.